Okay. That was weird. Wait, am I live streaming? Damn, alright. What the heck? Oh, YouTube. What's up, Jesse? How you doing tonight, man? Chad, how you doing tonight, sir? Farming. Let's turn off our caps lock. Farming sim 22. Farming 22. No. No. We need our tangs. Is, it, is there no music going on right now? Okay, yeah, alright. Good thing I discovered that. For some reason, it switched my audio. That's not what I want. I want FS22 tag. I'm pretty good, Jesse. Thanks for asking, sir. Copy, paste. I think we're good to go. Alright. Bring this up. So we are plowing the fields that need to be plowed, which I think this is the last field that needs to be plowed. Actually, I think we have, have to plow the rest of that one because I think uh, Tony mowed it, so that's good to go. We gotta pick up rocks. I guess cultivate as well we have to wait for these to finish harvesting so we can harvest that the grapes are fully harvested now i believe yeah so we have to wait for them to change so you can trim that and uh yeah all right technically i guess we could before everyone gets in here we could uh, sleep through the night and that will probably make them feel ready to go I don't know why I'm running I could just go like this we So, our grass is ready to be mowed now too, which means we can, before we jump into anything, we can fix our mess here, plants. Still not ready to go. Holy crap. Alright. Well, then I guess we'll build our truck that we were supposed to put in last time. Um, hopefully, it doesn't lock my game up like it did last time. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Um, 
You don't ever want to hey, we went to fuel tank on this. You don't ever want to set me free. I don't like how it's sitting on there like that. What the heck? No, I hate, I hate this. Why do you make the rim so damn big? can't have a dually you can't even have a single rear wheel I mean there I guess you can get a lift kit what's going on thanks what's up I just want I didn't hear you. I didn't hear what you said. I said, what's up? Did you hear me that time? Hello? I play some FS. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can now. Can you? Okay. All right. Just make sure my mic wasn't screwed up. You want to play some FS for a bit? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, would I have to have every mod you have? Yeah, unfortunately. You couldn't email me your folder, could you? Uh, they're available. If you emailed me like your folder, could I just copy and paste all of them into mine? It's not gonna go through you. We got like I think like five gigs of mods. Um, yeah, it's not. It, I don't have the the link posted right now. I used to have it posted for everybody, and no one would join, so I didn't. I haven't bothered updating the links. I'd like to make a good RP thing out of it. Nah, we we don't role play. We just just do whatever we want to do on a Friday night and hang out. Doing great, how are you? Don't forget, Chad. Thanks for asking. I just freaking. How hard would it be for you to make a new link real quick? I'd have to hop out and. Put everything in because it's not even one link it's multiple because I, I update it and just send over what's the update so i'd have to re-upload the main pack and all that i can have an update for for next week but i'm not going to do it tonight you play 5m a lot I haven't played 5M in about a year and a half, if that. If you ever play Kentucky RP, we actually have like a bunch of motorcycle clubs and all that. We're pretty, we're big. Pretty sure I've heard of it. Okay, My press up here is actually one of them. I, uh... I was in, uh, um, we had our own there for a while, and then I joined, I can't even remember what it was, what it was called, it's the one where uh, Medic makes their fire trucks, I was in that one and never joined the RP because I moved, and uh, I, I couldn't make up, make it to the training or whatever, so I just gave up on it.
I'd like to find some good, like, American tractor mods for FS and American implements, like, older style and do, like, an 80 series. I can't find none nowhere. At initially what to start, well, we're using smaller, older equipment for this, this server. And, like, our all of our, our tractors and combines and stuff are older, whereas, like, our personal vehicles would be whatever the hell we want it to be. I'm just bummed that this freaking Dodge doesn't have a dually that works with flatbed. But yeah, if you can get the link, I'll be more than happy. If you can get the link, dude, I'd be on that server every day. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to do this, this look here. Is it even easy? Okay, I'm done with this. I'll stick with this thing here. It looks a lot better in my opinion anyway. Oh no, we did finish her plowing that. Nice. Like what? Who's this? I was mad at first. Oh, they are ready to. Okay. Uh, what? What does he use to do that? I guess anything. What's the clear jar for? Oh, the jar? Should check on my animals too. Cows are good. Pigs are alright. Let's see it. Help take the bugs and bigger crap out before going to the filter? Huh. Gotcha.
Okay, I'm alright over this, so we're just gonna shut that off and leave it for PJs. Sounds good to me. Uh, I'm guessing Tony has a rock collector somewhere here. Ah, right there. That up. PJs do that. It's his, it's his grapes. I'm not amused by that whatsoever. That's a lot of roads go up and down too. Oh. Beacons on for safety. We still have to have our beacons on for safety. We're going down dirt road. We can go with a no, right? come back down here and I didn't realize that I didn't get those edges before we pick those up we'll plow that So those of you watching, let's get the chat going a little bit. What's everybody's playing for the week? How about that? Anybody got anything cool going on? Yay, yeah, nay. Just missed the spot over here. Oh, I, I engaged the audience and lost one viewer.
to sit in silence and gain to what the world? Stones, not Dwayne's stones. Over G block by Really? Missed all those other trees, but this one you're like, ah, screw it. I'm hitting it. That's the true definition of just looking for a reason to get out of work. Those guys have plans for, uh, for the weekend. What about uh, if I binge watching anything? You know, anything good? I didn't lift it. Dominic, how are you, man? It's been gone. That, that's the best answer I got for that. It's been gone. Okay, we need to bring him back down here. <laughs> Pause that for the time being. I'm gonna get take care of that. None of these fields need to be plowed, so they just need to be cultivated. Mm -hmm. I guess what we could do is our feed things out of water. all out of water I guess we can go fill those up while we wait that makes sense I'm wearing a Chevy pickup t-shirt driving a Dodge we might need to change that.
to patch that in too. Jeez. Yeehaw. Downtime. Well, that's sucks, man. But it's all about that grind. Gotta get that gotta get that money. Uh Um, uh, hey, well, looks like that mod's coming out. I don't know what happened there. I guess I could technically see if I could somehow fill it because I, I get the trigger on foot, so maybe I'll get the trigger to fill it full of water. Because I mean, that's a nice little set it and forget it type of moneymaker. What's up, Riley? How are you, man? I'm hitting it. I guess we could do it like this. <laughs> so we know where it's at. Or maybe it's because it's winter time, they don't show up. Maybe that's what's going on here. We do have to kind of like level this out. Maybe cut down this tree, which I don't want to. This one I yeah it is all right. Are they they're selling? Okay. So we need this one here. Got this one. Do we have this one? We do. This one? No. Okay. So this one needs water. Get it? Did. So that one's water. That I'm missing this. Missing two. Which I'm gonna guess is this one over here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Get this one real quick. This is a really jank way of doing things, but.
Can I sell that pallet? Maybe not. Oh, oh. Okay, so last one we have left is this one over here. I've tried to get the pal to work, but I can't get it to work. There we go. So we'll pay attention to that. If we get back into like spring, summer, and they come back, I guess they just disappear for the winter. Which I guess makes sense. I kind of wish instead of just making the plant, they would have made like a greenhouse sort of thing. Uh, did it break it down? What what zone is? Still in the red. Alright. So. He's still chugging along. Do we have to quantitate as well? Just need to roll. Is there a small roller? I know I put one in, but I think it was busted because it did not. Say, my blind. Do I have one of these already? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. No boy, no boy. I, I'm, I'm trying to ask some questions. No one wants to respond. So. I don't know what's going on. Y'all yeah, just like creepers that like sitting there and, and watching. Not participate. It's kind of it's it's a little weird. Like I, I understand it, but it's a little weird. Oh, the cast pajamas has joined the game. I saw that before it showed up in game because I'm I'm staring at the server screen. Helper's blocked by MJ. Higher help really is impatient. Like they couldn't just wait two seconds for me to move to be like, yeah, block my object. I can't move. Dang, 
that took a bit. find the truck tanks? That's talking about like the, the AR tanks? Like haul water and fuel and stuff? That's a separate mod, when you have to download the AR tanks. I think it's from, is it East Coast modding? Or East Ontario Edits, one of those two? I think it's e Eastern Ontario Edits. That, that made the AR tanks. Did he do the work properly? Okay, it looks like it. We do have to go change our shirt. Why is he in my house? I haven't thought I can't find him in the shop. They should be under, um, uh, there should be a section here that says AR beds or something like that. There's a, there's a, it's in its own category. Doesn't keep going. 
What in the hell is this? What? It's attachment on the back of the tractor here by the grapes. <laughs> oh, that's how I'm going to test the instead of having the spray with the sprayer. I'm going to see like, if I can park this because this has got a pretty big range. And that I was going to say, it looks like a sprinkler. Yeah. And just park it in the middle of the field. Yeah, because I have no other solution other than floating sprayer there, to, to, unless you use the in-game one. I've tried everything, so. I mean, like, the current system's fine, too. It's just, you know, it's all time-consuming. But I said that that would probably take half the if it if it works like it does in single player that would probably cover half the field. So okay. You get two of those. Right. And just or, do one pass. Yeah. What's up, Dirty Diesel? How are you? Let's see if he continues going now. Yeah, I did that, what, what you're doing for that short distance, and I was already just done with it. <laughs> I was like, it, it, it's not fun. Yeah, I was like, screw this. Pretty good. Diesel is pretty good. I feel like I used a different tool for this last time. Uh, I saw that, so I picked it up and uh, yeah, I quickly got a... Uh, or a different tractor, maybe? Might have been. I don't know. I just I went in, grabbed a tractor, hooked it up, and went down. Yeah. Unfortunately, those ones aren't the best. For grape stuff, anyways. Homesick. Oh, we gotta, hold on, we gotta patch that. Got. Oh, home. You're ho at homesick. Gotcha. I thought you're homesick like you were at home. My bad. Yeah, I I was sick last week. I had uh had strep. A wicked wicked form of strep throat. I couldn't talk for two days. Like I couldn't even open my mouth. Didn't eat. Didn't drink. It was it was it was pretty wicked. And of course, you show up with a sore throat. And immediately the doctor's thinking it's it's the vid. It's like, you wanna take a vid test? I'm like, not really. I know I 
I've had it twice. I know what that feels like for me. But that's immediately what their, their go-to is. Like, as soon as I walked in, they're like, oh, we're going to need you to put a mask on. We're going to need you, you know, we're going to have to put you off at the side room. It's like, I, okay, I'm, I'm good. I know it's not that. It's on bricks. Yeah. It just kind of floors. Well, the first time was rougher for me. I, I the, the, that's not word. More rough for me than the second time. The first time, it just put me on my ass for like a week. Second time, I was on my ass for like two days, and then I was good to go. I guess my body was like, we beat, we beat this shit before, let's go. I knew exactly what to do. That's why I don't, I don't know. I don't like that they rushed to put that, the shoddy shot out. Try not to get demonetized here. Cause like, I'm very anti anything, putting anything in my body. Like I don't even get a, I don't even get a flu shot. I don't like taking medication unless I absolutely have to. And. Thanks for returning all my shit to my house. No problem. <laughs> I even cleaned it for you. Like, oh wow. Yeah, that, that's that's real. You know, that's, that's a weird. true friend right there. Yeah, I parked it nicely. Mm -hmm. Could have parked it on the roof. That's true. Well, I mean, you did park a tractor at my house one time. Well, it looked cold. I thought it needed to go inside in the heat. Yeah. If you're cold, they're cold too. Okay. Right. Like I, I'm, I'm a firm believer. Ever since I stopped taking medication, just let your body figure it out. Your body will figure it out. Unless you have some sort of like health problem where your body can't, your your body will figure it out. I didn't even get the shot. I won't take the meds anymore. I mean, it's everybody's personal preference. I, I used to be really sick when I was like a preteen teenager, and that's because my, my mother would pump me full of medication for it, like the slightest of headaches. I used to get migraines to the point where like I, I couldn't walk. They were so bad. And I was living in more pain. Like I, I had to take Tylenol PM every night to go to bed, and then even that wasn't working. Um. So I just one day I was just like, you know what? I'm not living like this anymore. And I just stopped taking all medications. And I've been better, long better. So I get sick maybe once a year at this point. I used to be, I like I used to get strep throat as a child. I used to get strep throat at least twice a year. At least twice a week, year. I had strep throat twice the amount of times that you know, like normally the doctors would recommend taking tonsils out back in the day. Yeah, this is should... definitely the worst part of grapes. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree on that one. Uh, so once so they don't do tonsils fertilizer, anymore. if you could switch your search over to <laughs> to this, a mass cutter. But uh, yeah, ever since I stopped, like I. I get sick once a year. In uh, the past two years, it was the vid. This year, it was uh, strep throat. Because at least with fertilizing, like he can whip through it. I don't got anything after but my for like dose. this, I, I'm this step dose and the free. harvesting, where you have to be like right on the line. Otherwise, it stops you. Yeah, I, that was a pain. Super annoying. Because if you drift too far away, it, like you get stuck. Yeah, get so you, it, you up just to, I watch for like the lean. So if my tractor starts to lean, what's up, Steve? You know, How are you? Oh, getting too far. But those small ones are not good for that at all. That's what I was saying, Steve. I got it, the the first time I got it, it knocked me on my ass for like a week. And the second time, it was like two days. And I was, I was back up and going. So, like, I feel like if you get it 
the first time, your body, it takes a little bit, you know, to process what's going on with you and figure it out. But the second time, and each time after that, your body just slowly builds up an immunity to it. That's why that, the rush for the shoddy shot, I feel like, was unnecessary. I get for people who have, like, immune system, like, and I'm no doctor, I mean, per, you know, preface by saying that. I'm no doctor, but I get people with you know, like immune comp immune system compromises, like what's it, uh, what leukemia, that Roman Reigns. Has. I get people like that being concerned and worried. I understand that, but for people who are otherwise healthy, like you know, let your body figure it out before you go pumping yourself. Like, like I said, the flu shot. I don't even do the flu shot. They ask me every time, do you want to get a flu shot? And I tell them every single time, no. No, I don't. Like, what part of, I don't want anything in my body that I don't have to have, don't you understand? And I say that, I, I understand how hypocritical that sounds because I shove my face full of just the junkiest of junk. And I get there's, you know, junk in that too, but... I feel like medication's a whole another topic, and I, I'm even further anti anything that messes with your brain. Like depression medicine, anxiety medicine, all that stuff. I, I'm so anti it. And you can ask my wife. Like I've told her numerous times. Like that. I feel like that should only be for extreme scenarios. Anything that messes with your brain, never good. Never good. And a lot of times that shit ends up being, like, have worse consequences than helping. But yeah, like I said, I'm no doctor. This is just my personal opinions and what I've, I've, I've experienced along the way. I know a lot of people don't like people expressing opinions, and YouTube is one of them. So YouTube, if you could not demonetize me, that'd be great. Just dumb now that we're to the point now. And if you have any of the symptoms, which every symptom is a symptom of the vid, like if you have any of those symptoms, immediately the doctor assumes that's what it is. Like instead of just, I I, I should say I, I'm pretty glad I have the doctor I have because their initial like when I told them what was going on, their initial thought was a strep test. And that you know, but you got like they I couldn't get it in there that day, and they didn't have an uh, opening for two days, so I had to go to the walk-in, and the walk-in immediately was like, "Oh, you gotta take a test." I was like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I was more like, rrr, rrr. I couldn't talk. Like, you guys aren't getting funded for that anymore. Just, you know, do your job and treat people for what they have, all right? Stop trying to assume everything is that. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. 
just one of those days. Yep. Yeah, I can't tell if I'm getting sick or like my allergies are starting early. I was gonna say, you sound like you got a cold. Yeah, because it's like with all the rain and the warm temps, like all of the allergy stuff is like almost a month ahead of schedule. And I normally have to like start taking my allergy meds in like like middle or end of May. And so like I can't tell, but it's also been like normally I'll be like sneezing a bunch, and like I haven't had a lot of sneezing, but my level of congestion hasn't gotten like as bad as it would as if it were a cold or something like that. Where it's like just enough to be annoying, but it's not like debilitating. And it started on like Wednesday, but obviously you can tell like the, it started Wednesday. But like yesterday I was fine. Yeah, I was gonna say you last night you sounded fine. Yeah. And I sounded fine up until like man, like six or seven o'clock today. Like this evening. So like I don't know. If it's a cold, like there's a long onset <laughs> for the cold. You know? Like it doesn't normally take like three days to get going. Why not? Oh, you gotta take gotta take one of them there testy test. Could be the vid. Well that's what I thought this afternoon. I was like, should I just should I take a test? But like I just had COVID. Like a couple months ago, I think. I was just talking about. I was like, if you have any of the symptoms and you go to the doctor, they immediately assume that's what it is instead of like actually like doing other things. Like, luckily, my doctor, it like I called in and they're like, we can schedule or get you in for a strep test. Like, they didn't even the the vid test didn't even like come out their mouth. So I'm glad about that. But they couldn't get me in. To, to see me for uh, I think it was like two days so mm -hmm. I had to end up having to go into the walk-in and that's me immediately as soon as I you know start to have my symptoms like I had to mask up they put me in a separate waiting room I was like mm -hmm. oh my god people really mm -hmm. why is this your go-to like I can like because they asked me do you have because they got to the rule vid. that out first, and then. Well, like I told him, I was like, "No, I've had that twice. I don't. That, that's not what this is. This is, this is something uh, this is an entirely different beast." And they're like, "They're still first thing is like, ah, I, you know, it's got to be the vid." Like, no, no. I will say though, like I've had the Rona, like I've had it three times now, <laughs> and each time it has like manifested itself completely different like the first time not a single symptom it was a pain in the ass because it was just like I had the positive test but I, I didn't have any symptoms and then the second time was pretty bad well, it was, wasn't pleasant and that was like but that was mostly like congestion like super congested and I had uh, like flu symptoms too, so like I had a fever for a bit and stuff. And then this most recent time, it was just like it was just super. It was like mega congested. Like I've never been that congested in my life. But that was it. <laughs> See, the first time it put me on my ass for like a week. Like I was just I was, I was done for for a week. I couldn't do anything and. Like I had all, I had like all flu. Both times I've had flu symptoms. It's just the severity. The first time was a week long. The second time was like two days. And I was back up and going, getting, moving around. And just, I the, what that the, it ended up being strep. But it was like a crazy strep. Yeah. To the point where like I couldn't even open my mouth. I blame yeah. Philadelphia because Becky Lynch had strep throat at WrestleMania too, and she was in Philadelphia. So I'm blaming Philadelphia for it. Which I guess yeah. you know, 
fishing Makes sense. a couple of nights in Philadelphia, I could come home with worse things than strep throat. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? How are you, man? Man, I just, like I don't know. I guess it was like because it was the roof of my mouth as well. Like I, you, strep throat, you get like the sore throat and just yeah, yeah. It's like super bad sore throat. This was like the, like the same pain was on the roof of the roof of my mouth, and I could feel. You know, the white stuff that you get on your tonsils when you get mm -hmm. strep throat, mm -hmm. I could feel that on the roof of my mouth. And as soon as oh, she looked in, like, she didn't even have to look at my tonsils. She was like, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. We, don't even, we don't even need to do a test for this. <laughs> well, that's the thing. The test they did initially came back because she was like, she goes, yeah, I can see the, I can see white, you know, specks on, on your roof of your mouth and, and tonsils. So she's like, it's a strep throat. She's like, let me just see what your test results came back. Yeah. And she goes, oh, oh. Oh, she goes, that came back negative. She's like, but you can, she's like, I can see it. And she was like, I'll just write it down with tonsillitis. She said, it treats the same way. And then she called back. They, they did a, another test or whatever. And um, she called back and said, that's what it was, strep throat. Right. So she says, tonsillitis, strep throat treats the same way. So that's what she... she Mark Banner. That's good to hear, Ryan. I mean, within two days of taking the moxicillin, I was able to talk again to this. That's plus. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's so tough to tell these days. I'm like, I don't know. It's like, with so many symptoms being similar, it's like, listen, I'm not going to, like, take a test for everything. And I'm not going to, like, this, like I, like I said, like, it, it got bad around, like, 6 or 7 o'clock. And then just before coming up here, I was just like, ah, like, in the, in the bathroom, we've got, like, the allergy meds. So I was like, I'm, I'm just going to take it because, like, it can't hurt. And it has, like, some of the same properties of, like, you know, like the medicine you'd take if you had a cold and were congested. Like it's essentially the same thing. Different drug name, same effect. So I was like, I'm, like it can't hurt to take this. And then if it clears up and I'm feeling fine, then I'll take it again. And then, like if it's effective, that just means it's the start of allergy season because like, I don't have any other symptoms or anything like that. It's just congestion. So and like if it's if it's the Rona then like, I'm not really around anyone anyways. So <laughs> you just gotta hide out in the room until your wife leaves. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, but here's the beauty of it: is like if I don't, if I don't take a test, then you know I don't have to. She don't know. Deal with if it's well, if she it's don't know yeah. <laughs> Yep. And plus, like I was reading about those tests, and like the likelihood of like incorrect test results is actually like, pretty decent. So, and it depends on the brand, too. So, like, AstraZeneca, like, their success rate or their, like, uh, yeah, their accuracy rating is, like, 93%. And then the ones that we had are, like, uh, have been known to have, like, false positives. And then there's another brand that is likely to, like, produce false negatives. And so we had, at one point, we had, like, all of them. And I was like, well, okay, it just depends on, like... Just take all three? Wanna... Well, no, that's what I did. I was doing tests. I was testing with them, like... Because when I knew that I had it, I was like, all right, well, now's the time to, like, I'm going to test all of these ones. And, like, one of them came back that I was negative. And I was like, okay. So I guess it's, like, it depends on how badly I want to go and do something. So if I want to like not leave the house for a week, then I'll just take the one that gives like false positive results. 
when I test at the time where it's I should in order to like go back out in the public it's like oh no still positive shoot <laughs> I gotta stay in the house or if I need to like go to work or something like that yeah, if I need to go into the office or something like that for something important, then I'll just take the one that gives like false negative results. Uh, the only ones I know of are on um, like the ones on uh, public maps. So you got like. Uh, KST map has all one. possibilities. I hope it's a cold. I don't really know what other ones. I hate allergies. I hate allergy season. I never had to deal with this. I should be glad my allergies aren't terrible. Yeah, dude. Like, I never had allergies. Never. Yeah, but aren't and change like every seven years or something yeah and it's like i hit like i don't know like my mid-20s or something like that not later than that yeah no probably my mid-20s and i was like what's going on i just thought i had a cold and i was taking meds and i was like well it's not going away. it's not going away And then now it's like for a, like I have no idea when it's gonna start. It's just like this every year. Like, am I sick? Is it allergies? And when it's allergies, then you gotta take that stuff for like a month. And I don't know exactly what type of tree it is. So I guess if I knew that, that'd be helpful. Yeah, shit's getting wicked here. Cause it took the the youngest one to the bus stop, and that was at like it's around seven o'clock in the morning. And then me and my wife had to run in town, and that was at one o'clock. From seven o'clock to one, there was nothing on the car when I when I left to take her to school. At one o'clock, the car was just coated in pollen. Yeah, pine, pine apparently is uh, getting pretty big right now. Which usually that's in that's in like June or July. Yeah, usually we don't get like until they start mowing and stuff, and you know that's when it gets really, really bad. But it's it's wicked already. Yeah, when I used to work for the DVW, like I'd be working in the park, and the one end of the park, like where the houses are like lined up on it is just a bunch of big just big ass pine trees and i mean working over on like by the tennis court side like the opposite end of the park and then you like get a good breeze or something like that and then like a couple minutes later you would literally see this wall of yellow like spanning the entire length of the park just rolling towards you and you're just like oh no <laughs> Here he comes. it's like it's like a fog it's that bad Doing pretty good, Tony. So, I'm just like, like thank God it's not pine it's for me. Yeah, that's the one that's like that that wood. yellow pollen. I don't really have any problems. I'm wondering if I'm I'm already pissed at this whole construction bullshit already. I'm glad I got rid of my couch when I did because my couch wouldn't fit through the front door because the front door, when you open it, half the entryway is taken up by the staircase. So it had to come in through the sliding glass back door. Well, yeah. finally got rid of it. And we've been like, every now and then we'll ride back to the our old building to see what like the construction progress. Right. Uh, like, they got rid of the it? back doors. And our back storage unit, so we have no storage whatsoever anymore. Whoa! So they tore down, they tore all the back storage units. They're re replacing the back doors with windows. So I'm hoping that oh. they at least like, cause there's, I mean, there's a 
there's attic space here, but it's inaccessible. So I'm hoping maybe that they make that, like, give us an attic to make up for losing the back storage unit. Right, but aren't they legally required to, like, have two exit? That's what I Point. thought. Unless, because <clears throat> technically you can go out the back window. Yeah, but you're supposed to have more than one exit. Unless they're putting in, like, a smaller door, because they've walled, well, they walled off everything, so it was just, like, a big cube, and then they cut out all, they put yeah. all the windows in. Yeah. And, like, it's all walled off in the back, and it's just the one, the middle unit has a window, so that's what, to me, is, like, that's what it's going to look like. And I wouldn't mind that so much if they moved the, the staircase to the back. So if if they were to get rid of the back door, put the staircase along the back wall, the back wall of the bottom floor, and take you up instead of of right there in the doorway. So that way you can actually move stuff in and out of the front door. Luckily now we don't have that couch. We can move our because uh, it's in cubes, so we can move it however we want. But right. That's gonna be that's gonna piss a lot of people off. And like I said, I just hope that I hope and pray that they give us like at least an attic space to store stuff because like all of our like our Christmas totes are out back. Anything yep. we don't need goes in the tote out back. So yeah, I'm I'm building I'm in the process of building a like those. The tote is like a it's made out of two by fours and it's basically yeah. like a sliding shelf for totes because we don't have any storage i seen that on uh on tiktok I kinda, yep I yeah yeah that's where i found it so that that thing i'm building that exact thing it's just like it's gonna be up here um we have like a it's like a bench that's built into the wall and it's like it's like 30 inches deep and it spans like the entirety of the loft and it's really just like useless space because up up here the ceilings are slanted so you are can't you do much with it voice chat to listen in and sure. i was like well this is the perfect spot to build Your one of those broken stupid things it sounds wicked don't don't join and so, try to talk i'm in the process it's just i'm lazy so that was my goal like when because now my dad's doing like he's doing better and he's moving around like i was like and he, he can't work i had i had it all laid out. i was like i was gonna i need you to build this for me i was like i'm gonna put it out back in the, the storage unit and then now uh, i can't do that yeah yeah i mean if you can find a place inside to do that <laughs> wait like, it sucks because like no matter what it's an eyesore because like i don't want to like, that's going to be the first thing that you see when you walk up here it's just a wall of black and yellow tote things but like one no one's really come, no one's really coming up here except for us and two like we need to have storage and it's gonna like it'll hold like 12 bins i think once i'm done with it and like the amount of space, like it's gonna clean up everything else. So it's kind of I'm worth it. Hey, I, I want, I want to do that so bad. Good thing I didn't waste money because Walmart's got those the same, the black and yellow ones. They have the same yeah. thing, but they're black and red. And yeah, I'm yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a couple of those. I'm glad I didn't waste money. Unless they do give us hack space, and then I'll just throw everything in those and just set them up stairs. Yeah, maybe they'll do something different with the uh, storage. Like, maybe they'll just change it up. Mm hmm. I, 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 I hope they give us at least something. They did over off to the side here. They, I don't know what they're doing there. They, they dug up the, so the way this, it works is you have it's two separate apartment complex technically under one it's the same company that owns it it's just one and two 
Like they're they're completely separate. It's it like I, different it's, names. Same name, just one. It, it's one, and then there's two. So, okay. I don't. She described it, and I can't remember how she described it. But they're they're separate entities, owned by the same person, technically same company now. But one residence and two residents, like you, like they couldn't move us from the one apartments to the two apartments. It had it had to keep all the one residents in the one apartments. If that makes any sense. Yep. So like. Um, there's a where the the curve there for the one, and then you can see where they added on to go back to the two. And right there at that space, they dug up this huge spot, and they ran pipes up like there. It's just like sick right out front my front door here. There's like six pipes sticking up out of the ground, and then they recovered covered it and leveled it. So I am confused as hell what they're doing there. Like I was, I was told, tell my wife like maybe that's because it's conduit. So what else would you run conduit for up out of the ground? Unless they're making like a like how big's the pad? It's not big at all. Like you think it's where they'll put like the electrical housing for like all the units. No, it could be. Or like the sprinkler system panel. That's what I was telling my wife because it was like because we have like a separate, working... like we have nine units, and then off of unit one, there's a it looks like an attached shed because it's just like a door. Um, but it's attached to it, and that's where the like the sprinkler system panel is and like the all the stuff for oh the entire God, work truck what? nine units with the control panels and stuff for that so it's that's, either that or that's what it's like my wife said it's like it looks like because essentially when they first were working on it, it looked like they were working on water pipes but I don't, that's not what it looks like just sticking out of the ground yeah. So I That's don't know guess. What, what it is. But I was hoping I was told my wife I was like maybe maybe they took the maintenance man's advice and bought that chunk of land and they're going to put storage sheds on it. That'd be great. Just each apartment gets their own like little storage shed. But I yeah. doubt that's what they're going to do. No. I don't think they're going to be super concerned with like your storage needs. No. They're they're not. Because if anything, it'll because what they okay so this is what a terrible company does and it's it's awful so what they may be doing by eliminating your storage is like hey you can't bring a whole lot of stuff with you meaning that they don't want people to stay there for a long time so that they can you know increase the rent whenever they want and Makes sense. basically having like a higher turnover means that like they can increase the rent makes sense because if you have a population of like the majority of people have been there long term and then you try to increase the rent well you're going to get a big a lot of resistance to that versus if you have a lot of short-term people and you increase the rent it's like okay some people will leave some people won't care and new people will come in but if you don't give the people that you know intend to be there for long term to like the amenities <laughs> that are needed to stay long term then it goes away
Yeah, it really is. So like, are the, do you see that there's like a lot of are there currently people like in the building they you were in? Like were they there for a longer period of time? Um so Or was there a lot of turnover already? Uh, there, there, there's a lot of people leaving. I've noticed that so far. Like, there's a lot of people, like, split. Um, well, I'm sure some of the people left in in lieu of doing what you did. Uh, no, I'm talking about even since like everybody's moved. So like, uh, the people that lived across from us, they they didn't even move. Right. They're, they're still That's in their, their place. They've moved out. Um, yeah. The people that were like right. So everyone on that row that hadn't moved out or didn't have to move because of construction have moved out. The only people there is the one old guy on the corner and the people that got moved into that building. Our row, uh, the people on either side of us, the, those apartments have been empty since we've been here. And so everybody else is still here. But the guy on the corner of this building we're living in now used to be our old neighbor. He used to live right next to us. And then that's the guy who I ate a boiled egg sandwich and I was ripping like rancid ass. And he disappeared for three days and then he moved. He oh, yeah. showed up and moved out. He now lives on the corner of the, <laughs> the building that we're in now. Oh. I'm sure he hated seeing when we got put in this row. He's, oh, God. He's just He's like, great. damn it. He's an interesting fella. You, every now and then I open the door and he's just casually strolling by in his slippers and robes. <laughs> Doesn't own a vehicle. Just rides everywhere on his, his bicycle, his basket on the front. The other old guy lives on the corner of the other building. That guy's he's he's the community snitch. If you don't want want people knowing your business, don't do it when he's home because he will yeah. tell everybody. That's the, that's the first thing we we got told when we moved in. Uh, the old um, the old uh, building manager. She was just like, "What if you do? Don't do anything you're not supposed to around him because he will snitch." He is he is the, the apartment complex snitch. Yeah, he's that guy. Yep. He's always been nice to me. Like every every time I've like I'm outside, he'll come up and talk to me. He's always trying to get me to go to church, though. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. Wow. <laughs> okay. That adds up. Yeah. He's like, you should go. You should you should come to church sometime. I'm like. I'm good. As I used, to, I grew up going to church. I said it's just, it's not for me. You know, you know it's full of uh, mostly hypocrites that act like buttholes throughout the week, and then they think because they sit in the pew on Sunday, it's good. It's like I, I believe what I believe, and I don't need anyone to try to make me believe otherwise. He's oh, like, don't let that ruin your experience for going to church. You should come to church every time. I was out like working on my car or something. He'd come out. He's like, "You think about going to church yet?" I'm like, no, no, I haven't. <laughs> like, all right, bud. What, you got a cult, bud? You trying to recruit me? Like, yeah. I ain't drinking Kool Aid. I'm pretty good. Well, I mean, like, I grew up going to church too, and then I went to a Catholic college, and like one of my classes was theology. Like, I actually had a class on reading the Bible and. Like writing papers about it and stuff, and like I, so I've read that thing like cover to cover a couple times, and like for academic purposes, not just like going to church purposes, and like because of that, I don't go to church because um, my opinion is that the whole thing is like just like it's made up it's not real it's not real listen i understand because i do to some extent believe in a higher power like uh, there's 
something out there. But like this is not it. Sorry. There's too many plot holes and inconsistencies and stuff that you, you, it, it does not it, like it doesn't add up. That stuff does not add up. I've never read the Bible all the way through. Um, but, oh, God. Well, um, a guy don't. guy I used to work with. He when he was locked up, he was like, only thing you can do is read. He said, so I've yeah. read every Bible. He's like, the only one that makes any bit of sense is uh. Uh, with Buddhism, B Buddha, Buddhism, Buddhism, yeah. He's like, that's the only one that makes any sort of sense. He goes, all the other ones are just out there. He's like, so you're yeah. Buddhist? Hell no, because even that didn't make a ton of sense either. But it's the most sensible out of the out of the bunch. Well, I mean, like here, like I, I can get into very specifics. And actually, like I went to an Easter service. Um, this year and the person who was giving the service actually like called out <laughs> accidentally called out like a major plot hole in the whole resurrection thing but that's not it but like if you even just remotely think about it so like the book of genesis that's the first one that's how the bible starts and that's about how god creates the earth and it's like right so who was there to like <laughs> the yeah mm-hmm that's why I've always my biggest argument is like this. This book was people are living their lives by this yeah. book that was written by yeah, some yeah. dude. It's scary. It's not it's, no, it's not. <laughs> it's like what if, I'm just gonna live my life by the Harry Potter series. Yeah. <laughs> you filthy muggles, like, get away from me. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Like, honestly, what's the difference? So like I I I can't take it seriously anymore, so I just I just don't I don't participate, you know. But I feel like I had the best. Like I've done all of the research that I need, like that I could have done. It's like you know, having grown up going to church, and like understanding that. And then going and like studying it, not studying, but like analyzing it. And so, like, I feel like I gave it a good chance. You know, I didn't write it off no, right off the bat. My biggest problem and why I didn't do well in theology in college just because like I quickly figured out and I was like you want me to write a paper on this this is like <laughs> this is like this is fiction so mm, I can write fiction too and I was like my paper is going to be one page long and it's going to be one sentence and it's going to say like this isn't real <laughs> comma see, so why are we doing this that was my biggest problem with, with with my like my the religious side of my family is because like they used to get in like these heated debates about this yeah about, like oh this is like why 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 and me as i was starting to like you know in my it was in middle school like i was starting to question what what was in the book and like have my own beliefs my own way of thinking like I had made the comment they, they were talking about it on the bus one day and I made the comment that I don't believe heaven is like in the clouds the streets paved with gold and all that other shit I was like I don't believe that I believe heaven's right here like you, you come back and you live your life and when you were the at your happiest like the best way I oh. can describe it okay. that that what I, I I believe heaven is is supernatural like you have your own heaven people you want there can come visit and, and all that it's just like it's a it's an everlasting dream i yeah but like a good dream essentially yeah so that got back to my cousin who is super religious and still is to this day and he went and told my grandmother and that that year i couldn't wow. sit with my cousins at at thanksgiving <laughs> and easter i was like 
because I question what like I have my own version of what I think heaven is. Like I didn't say heaven didn't exist. I just said what you want to believe doesn't exist, or I don't believe that that exists. So you're you're essentially doing the same thing to me. So maybe I don't want to sit with you. Right, but most people interpret like like that's how most people interpret what heaven is. Like even the super religious people like. They're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like the kingdom of God, and then like you know you go through the the gates and stuff, and it's just like, and then you're in like you know eternal heaven, and it's like yeah, and then what? Like, what do you do once you go through the gates? Like, they don't describe it at all, so it's like, well, if you they don't think about it, they don't think any more than whatever the Bible describes it as. So like I like your take on it. That makes the most sense. Yeah, like, like, and actually, American Dad did that too. Like they have like, you know, everyone has their personalized heaven. Well, supernatural. That's what supernatural did. Like, like you could see the angels walking down the corridors, and the, there's names on the doors, and like yeah, they could yeah, hear, yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly and stuff like that. that. Well, then at the end, uh, the new god, because God was. Uh, posing as a prophet at, throughout the whole entirety of the show in the last season he reveals himself that he you know Chuck is actually God and then they up killing God and putting in place uh, it was a he was a Lucifer's child they make him God and he tears down the walls so everybody can like freely roam throughout heaven it's just like it's exactly what it was on earth just up in the sky basically mm -hmm. I was like that I was like that's, ex that's what I've been saying like I'm so glad someone else because I've, I've been made to feel like an outsider for believing that I mean, so it makes sense when you think of heaven you don't like why would you want a, a pair of wings and dressed in white like you don't even like dressing in white here on earth like why why would you you think that's your internal happiness really wings that you all you do is float float around in, in the clouds like and do what like it'd be cool to have wings down here so i can be like hey you know i think we're gonna, you know i'm gonna fly down and get some like paula deans at, in tennessee or something right i'm gonna go uh you know saying it doesn't make sense yeah exactly but also like all right, so for the Easter thing, the plot hole was so in the when they talk about like the resurrection of Jesus, it's like Mary Magdalene went to the tomb that Jesus was in. And then when she got there, like Jesus wasn't in there. And then there was like an angel in there just being like, hey, don't be afraid. But like Jesus isn't here anymore. Like he's risen, and you know he's basically gonna be like coming back you know, for the man. eggs. Yeah, he's gonna be the man now. But like, don't be afraid. And like, she was terrified, absolutely terrified. So in the actual Bible, it says like she went back home and told nobody about this. So it's like, well, if she told nobody about this, and this isn't like the Book of Mark, um, like she either must have told somebody, or you're making this up because <laughs> how could she have told nobody and she was the only person there, and then this is being written right now. <laughs> Booyah! Yeah. I mean, the biggest lie we've. We to, to just show that so now not... there's like annotated there's like notes in the bibles now like subtext and they're like well in this version of the bible she actually ended up telling somebody and then it's like in this version of the bible jesus actually appeared later in oh, front so of her to people, confirm this stuff people so people like, realized like, so they're like oh we yeah yeah, yeah. This away. and someone went back and rewrote it yeah and it's like, okay, so based on that, like, you guys still think this is legitimate? 
I mean, like, we're all, we're, we celebrate Christmas because supposedly it's Jesus' birthday. That's not true. No, well, we, I mean, we don't know. No, he was born in, like, the summer, wasn't he? I've no, no, I don't know. I thought that was proven was that he was desert. born in the summer and they moved his birthday back. The, the, the Catholic Church moved his birthday back to December to cover up the winter solstice. I mean, that could be entirely true. I'm just saying, like, he's born in uh, Bethlehem, which is, like, it's kind of a desert, so their seasonality is non-existent. So. I haven't read it too much into that. I mean, Christmas is bogus to begin with, so... I don't need a like theological reason to <laughs> not like Christmas. How do you not like Christmas? It's, a, it's where we celebrate a fat dude that like comes down your chimney and leaves you gifts under your tree. Like that's well, yeah, to us non-religious folk. Yeah, and trust me, I had to be in plenty of Christmas pageants at church. God, my grandmother would lose her shit if she knew. Like, she was... She was mortified that I was listening to Corn back in the day. She was only see that I want, uh, my favorite band right now is a band that led by a satanic pope that dances around to songs about going to hell and the devil. Like she would lose her absolute mind. Well, I don't know what what sect you grew up with, but I was I grew up in the in the Catholic Church. I Christian. And man, like I don't know how you could still do that. I grew up. I grew up going to a Christian church where my Sunday school teacher. This is, this is like this is where I start noticing cranks in this whole this whole institution. My Sunday school teacher would come to to church to teach Sunday school, hammered. Like, he was drunk off his ass. And it was like, all right. And then, you know, of course, there's my mother, who is just the scum of the earth. And she was like, ah, you know, but I go to church, so I'm, I'm, I'm a holy person. And meanwhile, like, when she got baptized, I'm sitting there in the pew, like, just hold her down under the water a little bit longer. <laughs> a little bit longer. I'm going to hell. Oh well. At least all my friends. Well, are I there. just went from like, like stand up, sit down, like everyone's quiet, like just very strict, to like the occasional thing I go to now is like the congregational, and it's like super casual, <laughs> like super cash. And I'm like, oh, okay, right, but well, like, like this seems a little bit more. Like this is better. My, uh, my buddy, right after high school, his mom passed away, and they were Catholic, and we went to the funeral. That, was, that was an experience. Yeah. Yep. If you do a full Catholic mass, dude. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I had to go through that every week. That was an experience and a half. Was, mm -hmm. uh, it was not fun. And they basically just tell you how horrible of a person you are. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like everything you do is a sin. Man, you're going to go to hell. Like, when you're born. Like, 
you're predetermined to go to hell. Unless you do all of these things. Anyways. Yep. surgery calls and Jesus Christ mm. 181,000 yeah. yep Jesus yeah and it's like <laughs> I would love to see an itemized list of that bill. That would be great if they broke it down like how much, you know. Well, yeah, like how much is supplies, how much is like all the stuff, and like how much is labor. Like, what's the cost? Because you know how like they rip you off at dealerships and stuff where they're like, oh yeah, like the part costs a hundred bucks, but the labor three times plus labor, it's gonna be like seven fifty. So, yeah, I would just like to see that. Yeah. So, what I personally think they're doing is what a lot of these, uh, like, outpatient surgery centers are doing and, and get caught for uh, is, like, inflating, inflating the bills for stuff and then submitting that to Medicare to get reimbursed from Medicare. So if they submit an inflated invoice to Medicare and get reimbursed, it's that's fraud. Oh, you can't see they do. With the hospitals not doing well right now, I would imagine that that's what they're doing. Because they're talking about like, you know, oh, our wages are going up, which they are, and like their supply costs are going up too, like. There's no way it would get around that. Like, they are paying, having to pay, like, their staff more. And things cost more in general. But it's like, wouldn't it be nice to just, like, slip that into the, uh, into the fold so it wouldn't get called out? And really, only the private sector is getting hit with Medicare fraud. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're just like bumping up cost of things. That seems aggressive for a surgery like that. Hundred eighty one now. Cause think about it, like how long did it take? Um and is that just the procedure, or is that the hospital stay on top of that? Uh, I, I don't know. She didn't break down. It's just what they've, they've submitted so far. Hmm. But if the procedure is what, like, four hours? Uh, so she went back around four o'clock, and he came out about three and a half hours later. Okay. So let's round up to four. So divide the total cost by four, and that's how much it costs per hour. 
and it's like, what about that costs that much per hour? That's like a price of a freaking brand new like car. Car every every hour. Every hour. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would assume you're not on the hook for all of that. No, our insurance is covering it. Our insurance, that's what, what the holdup was. So getting our insurance to approve her going up there. Mm hmm. But also, it's like between the insurance company and the hospital, like the insurance company is not going, because think about like annually how much you pay towards insurance, right? You're talking like a few thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And then magically they just, they'll cover a procedure for that that'll outdo the total amount of your lifetime that you're going to pay to them? No. They would never do that. Stop exploring, how are you? So there has to be a process between like the insurance company and the hospital where they just kind of like, all right, like we both know that this was like way too much, right? So they cut it down to like the actual cost. And then like plus a bit for the hospital to make money. What was it? Uh, because let me tell you, if every hospital got that much for every single surgery that they did, oh, they that they wouldn't be having problems right now. Yeah, no kidding. It's like because that covers the supplies, the wages, and everything. So they must the insurance company must like settle with them for slightly above cost. So that's what I'm saying. It must be. Oh, I'd be so interested to see the invoice on that. Line by line. Where'd you come up with that dollar amount? Yeah, and who sets, like, because the doctor gets paid, of course, but who sets how much he charges? Um... So it's usually just a, a, a standard charge. It's not like, you know, depending on the person that you get, you pay like more or less because like no one would want to go to the cheap person, you know? And you don't want to be the cheap person. So it's, it's pretty much like a flat rate for them. They usually get paid on volume, not like their quality of work. But in terms of who sets that, I don't really know. My guess is that it would be like the finance people because it's like, well, their wage, like their, you know, their salary is this and cool, cool, cool. this is how many surgeries they do per year. So this is what we need to charge in order to cover our like overhead costs, make a profit and pay our surgeon. Ah, so they don't get paid... Okay, that makes, that makes sense. I mean, they don't get paid by surgery. They get paid by... They get a salary and then... They just it, 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 charges for the it, surgery to cover... It their, does depend by the network. Yeah. So, like, it's not like the surgeon sitting there being like, I'll do that surgery, but I'll do it for like 150. <laughs> so they may get paid by the surgery. Spitting on or surgery. like an annual or they may get like an annual salary 
plus like commission for the number of surgeries that they do so that's what, how it worked in my wife's old place is like they all got flat salaries but for the amount of appointments that they had like they would get you know, commissioned bonuses based off that I just want but like they had incentive to see more patients because if you just paid them a flat salary like they'd have no incentive to see more patients yeah I, just, uh, I get a picture of you said something about them uh, bidding on it. it room of surgeons yeah. is like I'll do it I'll do it for 250 alright alright do we have anyone for two? yeah <laughs> do we have 200 anyone 200 I'll do it for 190 and Slim Jim sold. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that's the person that you don't want doing your surgery. It's just the guy sitting in the back with the, the lowest roll of duct tape smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yep, that's the person you don't want doing your surgery. Well, I was reading a study that our generation is the first one that, like, if there's something that's, like, not life-threatening, just, like, an inconvenience, that the majority would rather just, like, not go see anyone about it. Oh, I'm... Because I'm they are afraid way. of, like, the cost associated with it and the quality that they're going to get. I will not go to and soccer like, and limp. Yep, yep, I'm same. Up. I've been limping for like almost a year now. Like almost daily. Anytime I exercise, like I'm limping after it. And I'm sitting there being like, well, you know, I've probably got like a torn meniscus or something like that. But like, Nope. Nope. I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to have to deal with the like the healthcare system. Because then it's like, well, then you got to get a referral. And then you got to wait and go see a specialist. And then you got to potentially go get a second opinion. And then you got to, like, if there's something actually wrong with it, then you got to go get the surgery for it. And at the end of the day, like your out-of-pocket cost is going to be so much. That's me. I, I'm, I'm like anti-medicine. I, I, it's even a lot for me to like take a like Tylenol for a headache. Like I, I don't like putting anything in there in my body, medicine-wise. And I, uh, like every time I go to doctors, they're always trying to put me on some sort of medication. I'm like, no, I don't want it. Like, well, you need to take this and, and this and this and this. I'm like, no, I, yeah. no, I don't. Like they're I always know. peddling I'm the, that way too. The, the vaccines and the shots. And it's like, I don't want that. I've never once gotten a flu shot. I'm not about to start yep, I don't get the flu shot either. And then my wife sees it on the other side now. Where it's just like someone doesn't want to... Because now she works in like cardiac. So someone who's just like you know I don't want to take my cholesterol medicine because it's like gives me like these side effects I, don't, I just don't want to take that I'm not going to take it and then she's sitting there in her head just like you know like strangling them being like what like how stupid are you <laughs> like you have to take this otherwise like you're going to have a heart attack I mean, but like, so she sees it from that perspective, and I'm just like, I'm the person sitting there being like, I don't want to take my cholesterol medication because I don't want to be on it. 
like I like I used to be really 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 sick. I I got sick all the time, and I was being pumped full of medication. And one day I got tired of it and just stopped taking medication. And I've I've noticed nothing bad happened. A lot less sick than when I used to be. Yeah. And so like when I get when I do get sick, I just tough it out. Mm-hmm. Unless I have like if I have to go somewhere and do something, Theraflu gets me through the through the day, and then I come home, tough it out. You know that's that's how I've I've been even with the vid and all that like this this strep throat like I knew from having strep throat if, if I didn't get an antibiotic then I you know it wasn't gonna go away so I that's I finally broke down went to the doctor but I mean I just I've noticed myself getting sick a lot less and other than being overweight like on every other specter I'm. I'm perfectly healthy, so why do I need yeah. to take any sort of medication if the like my cholesterol is fine, my blood pressure is fine? Like, don't mess with what's working right now. Is my 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 theory? Could I use the, could I use losing a few pounds? Yeah, and I, you know I'm I'm working on it, but I'm not going to take anything that. Like, oh, you should take this. It'll help you lose weight. No, you're not going to take. I'll yeah, you're not going to take the Ozempic. No. <laughs> I, I, the the ball from mine. That's not a weight loss drug. Well, the problem is like you have to essentially be on that for like long term, like life. Because once you get off of it, like you gain you gain all the weight back. So it's hmm. not like a short term solution mm-hmm. that's what happens when you try to take a shortcut mm-hmm. I'm sorry it is a short term solution it's not a long term solution so it's like okay all these people like have fun have fun with your drug injections I'm even like even more like anti medication when it comes to anything that messes with your brain. Like when they give you depression medicine or anxiety oh. medicine, it's just like e yeah, no. No, I went down that road. Nothing like anything that messes with your mentality, that's a, that's that's a red flag right there. Yeah. Yeah, I had been down that and I, I down that road and I was like nope nope I would rather just like deal <laughs> with it like honestly yeah, like exactly. no matter how bad it no matter how bad it is like I, I would rather just not They just they just give it away too. That's that's the sad part. Like my dad, when he was like he, when he was at his worst, like he I mean he was having you know unaliving thoughts, and he it's all because he's and he's worked every day of his life, with the exception of like his days off and you know, vacation. But since he was 12 years old he he was bringing in a paycheck and then all of a sudden he wasn't and then he had to rely on other people to you know, like he had to he, like after not having to depend on anyone in his life and it really messed him up and then he was like oh well we're gonna put you on this depression medication mm-hmm. and it's like it doesn't change the way he thinks is and it just made him even more what he was and like yeah I was but like, now yeah. there's now there's a medication that you can take on top of the antidepressant because sometimes the antidepressant can make you more depressed so this wow. is it, this is like an add-on that you can take now and that's pretty common after, and it's like so obviously it's not doing its job yeah after after 
having a few conversations with him after he started taking it. I told my stepmom, I was like, I think that's a no-go. She goes, oh, I'm already ahead of it. He's already, I've already taken him off of it. I told the doctor I refused to give it to him. Because he got pretty bad there for a while while he was on it. And then finally my stepmom was like, yeah, that's not happening anymore. It's like... Yeah. You, you, I mean, I've, you can't I've, change the way a person thinks by giving them depression medication. Yeah, all it does is numbs you. Like, literally, I've, t I've taken every single one under the umbrella. And, like, it doesn't change your outlook of just, like, all of a sudden you're just like, oh, sunshine and rainbows. Like, everything's going to be fine. It just, like, numbs you. And, like, plus it, like, it slows down your, like, on the physical side, too. It's just, slow, like, you're more lethargic, you're more tired. Like, it can cause Some weight shit gain. Shit that the person already does for you. And it's just like, okay, well, then I'm just going to get super fat. And then with like zero sex drive and then, but I'm on this drug, so I'm not going to recognize, like, I'm not going to be upset about that because I'm being medicated to not worry about that. Well, I was just like, I'm not, you know what? Just gonna do it on my own. That's how I was. I was like, At least I've done that. You know what my medication was? Music. Yeah. I just got lost in music. And yeah. I mean, toughed it out. Mine's just like realizing, like I have the self awareness to know. It's like I'm. I know why I'm feeling this way. So. Yep. And medication like, doesn't change it. It's still it's still there, so it'll just make you not actively think about it. It's like putting a band on band aid on a wound that's not gonna heal, so Mm-hmm. Yep. So I, I think like having gone through all of the like various treatment plants and stuff like that, at least for me, you know, continuing on unmedicated is just like at least I know that like if I'm ever feeling a certain way I'm just like I, I'm i feeling this way because of that which is helpful in its own extent yeah identify the problem because it's just like I know it's not reality I know it's not the way it really is it's just I feel this way and like just deal with it for a bit. I also just like the, the shortage of like therapists around this area is insane. Can't find one. Yeah. Like I don't want to see a social worker, or, like a, a clinical social worker or something like that. Like I want to see like a an actual like therapist, an actual real person that's qualified. And it just doesn't exist right now. One, because, like, they're loaded up because the pandemic did some work on people. Yeah. But two, like, unless you, like, get your all of your advanced degrees and stuff, like, there's no money in it. So no one's going to do it.
That's a, a, that's. I don't blame her because I, I, you know, if I was in her shoes, I would have took the same situation. But like, so the oldest one, her therapist, she she was part of a like of a group. So it was a it was, it was an old Long John Silver's building <laughs> that they had all right out of Long John Silver's. Yeah, yeah. So they had their offices out of there. It was just a group of. Uh, therapists that you know, go there each had their own office and they but they were only there certain days of the week and then all that had, like she got a job offer that was closer to where she lived and it was like she had her own office that you know she didn't have to worry about anyone going through her shit and all this other stuff and you know, like they were offering her more and it's like she she's like we're we're I'm gonna have to refer you to someone else here and so one of the diagnoses I can't remember what it was called but it was like the didn't like change I can't remember what the the term was where I was like so you're just gonna up and leave a kid that you know already has a problem with change for someone that she doesn't know. And I was like, I don't blame her for taking the money, but that just shows you how the system just sucks ass. <laughs> like, well, yeah, but I mean, like, you have to think, like, that's her own career advancement. Yeah, see. no, that's why I said, if I was in her shoes, I'd take the, the take the job. Her new job, yeah, but yeah, like, I'm sure that if she truly cared, then she would have felt bad about doing that, but. Because, like, we even, because it was during, like, right after, like, they start seeing people in person again. Because she was yeah. doing it over over the computer. So it was like, you can have your meetings over the computer. Why can't we just continue to do that, like, instead? It doesn't make any yeah. sense. I don't know. I am of the fashion. Like, I would prefer to, like, if I'm telling them stuff like I'd rather just have it in person yeah makes sense I don't know why I, I just feel like I'm a different person over like video calls and stuff than I am in person and that's probably because like 90% of my job is over the like video calls and stuff like that so I'm just a certain way I don't think I could get, like truly expose like my how I truly feel via uh, video chat. Mm -hmm. So PJ, you got those uh, reports. Uh, how about you go fuck yourself, Bob? What was that? Oh, uh, yeah, Bob, I have them right here. <laughs> What's up, Braden? How are oh, you? Oh, don't What's get me wrong. Guy? I'm so how pretty blunt. <laughs> What's up, Keaton? How are you? But I feel like if you're going to do it, like, I, I don't know. I just feel like in person is the way to go. Have you seen the, the TikToks where it's the four people, like, in the in the meeting, and the one guy is always doing, like, something? Like, one of my, my favorite is, uh, she's like, can we schedule that in for Monday? Can do you have time on Monday for it? And he pulls up his planner and he shares the screen. And it was like, uh, find an excuse to show up two hours late to work written in the schedule. And he's like, oh, no, yeah, no, I can't make it. I, you know, that I can't, I, I might be able to make some right here. And the one guy's like, I'm sorry, do you already have like a pre planned excuse to show up late on Monday? He goes, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he goes, it's in your planner. It, just, it says, find an excuse to show up two hours late on Monday. <laughs> and another one, uh, they, they're doing a late meeting and he leans back he, he's like he's got like a clear like Dunkin' cup and he's drinking through the straw and then he leans back a little bit and you see that it's a Bud Light can inside the cup and she's like I'm sorry are you drinking on the job and he's like huh what no it's, it's Dunkin' and she's like I could clearly see the beer can in there he's like well it's you know after five like and he's like but wait, 
you're three hours behind us. It's like two o'clock for you. Five o'clock somewhere, you just start drinking. Wait, that's the kind of shit that I wish I could do. Uh, he's pretty hilarious. Phoenix cat's playing with you. Hmm? Are you playing with him? Like, are you on the server with him right now? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. <laughs> I wish. If I had the mods, I would be. No, cats. I talked about. I talked to Phoenix about like giving me the mods to get in the server. He said it would probably be next week because it's like a five gigabyte thing. Yeah, he's had it downloaded for months though. He couldn't like pack them in a mega file and send them to me, could he? Dude, he's literally in in this chat room, so like you can ask him yourself. No, he's talking. He's asking if you could do it. Oh, why would I do it? <laughs> I hate. I hate the. I hate it. No. Nice work, Scott. Shift for work. Nice. No, I hate all of that Scott stuff. For me, and my canine. Oh, no. Hey, uh, I get mad anytime he a... adds new things to it, so, and yeah, I don't have nice. a... Uh, Phoenix, I, don't have I think a... I got you a mod to look at. I don't have a profile thing or anything like that to upload, and by the time I did all that stuff, and you downloaded it, and it'd be midnight anyways, so... <sighs> And I'm also going to suspect that if you weren't given them, there might be a reason for it. Well, I just got in here today. Oh. Yeah. Phoenix, I think I found you a mod, brother. Gotcha. To come into Dooley, flatbed, single cab, fifth gen. Yes, I'm gonna DM it to you. Cass, what's the best place to find like a uh, disc and stuff like old school disc? <laughs> what's that? Like old school like plows and all that. You're really asking the wrong guy. Right now I'm looking at Modland and I'm not seeing anything. I tried my hand at like downloading farm sim mods for uh, like forestry stuff and it didn't go well. So uh, 
also not the person to ask on that I usually just show up here and begrudgingly download whatever new mods pretty. that are added and didn't look pretty yeah I think there's a oh you got rid of the all mods download there huh yeah because uh, like i said nobody was joining so i didn't bother keeping it uploaded Do you still have the old mod file? Like Link? No, it's, I pulled it out to make room for others though. So I say I don't even have it uploaded anymore. Yeah, my mod files like goes back to. Jeez, wow! Wow! Uh, it goes back to June of last year. <laughs> now I've got a lot of stuff in here. I'm trying to find a bunch of hay rakes and stuff right now, and I'm having issues. Yeah, if you're looking for old, old stuff, it seems like some of it's easier to come by than other stuff. That's what I'm looking for, like New Holland hay bonds and stuff like that. But I, man, I can't find none. Not right now, at least. I got what map are y'all playing on for y'all's thing? A white farm. I'm also trying to find like uh, maps that'll work with Terraform, but I can't find any of that either because I want to be able to do like uh, homeowners where I can dig and stuff like that. From what I read, there aren't too many of those. What you should do is go um, look up the people that do the mining on farm sim and see what maps they use because those are the ones that use terraform. Sorry, I'm looking for a certain picture. Yeah, my day all up. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually almost done with this field. Oh shit. 
bubbles up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff What's some of the best American maps for PC that y'all have played? Griffin Indiana is good. I was gonna uh, say it depends what you want to do, because yeah, Griffin was Indiana was one of the better ones. That had big big fields. I know Alma's pretty good. I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me and open wounds start to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living What was the one that we were doing before this? Where I was like mowing the baseball field. That was Griffin in it. Oh, that one was? Yeah, all right. Yeah. I think that's the best one for a while. That had, that was a little bit of everything, which was good. But we like smaller, flatter maps, so. What I really want to do is kind of like build my real life farm on here, and I know it's not that hard. Man. The way my farm's built in real life is like, it's got so many twists and turns just in the farmyards. It's kind of hard. Have a good one, Braden. I mean, you can probably just take like a basic map and then just create. Yeah, if you want to get really, really, really creative, they have uh, the American, what's it, American farming, where it's a blank map that you can do whatever you want with. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at. I'll, I like Tahitian County. Like, Tahitian County ain't bad. I mean, I can only imagine if we were to do one of those, what it would look like. What, like a Tahitian County type map? No, just like a create your own map. I've done that before. I was, like, well, I was originally going to have a plan to take that American farming map and build like my own little town on it. And FS19, man, I had a good it. farm build. Well, even if you just made all like everything in like the top third, like all your like your houses, your silos. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. So your like, stuff, and then make the bottom two thirds of the map just field. That's essentially what I was gonna do. I was gonna have like because the American Farms map is just it's a, a, it has a crosshair where roads go through the middle, yep. up and down, and yep. side to side. And I was gonna build a town along that, and outside of it was gonna be farm. Kind of like how it is here. You have, you have your town oh, I mean, built I'd, right along the roads, and then outskirts just farm. I'd say make it more realistic for like a farming community. Like there's no towns. Like there are crossroads, but like no towns. Well, I'm talking about like here. So we have like our town. Let go right up the highway, and then once you get off that like Route 13, it's just mainly just fields, unless you're like along Route 1 or well even along Route 1. 
pretty much your just fields on either side. <laughs> it's like 113 true. and 13. When you go through the towns, you, there's towns and just fields on opposite or like in between. Have y'all played like the Leona, Pennsylvania map by Large H? No. Man, like, from what I've heard, they're supposed to be really good, but what we do in real life is we more or less do, like, uh, silage and hay, just because all we do is cattle, so we ain't really got a need to do grain or nothing like that. Which, I mean, all you really need for that is just a couple, two, like, two tractors, maybe a smaller third tractor. Yeah, I think we've always, well, I can't speak to this, but there's always a variety needed considering the mix of animals. I've been playing a lot of like Westby, Wisconsin, because it ain't bad either. I mean, they do like their cheese up there. <laughs> That's Wisconsin for you. See, like, if I built my own thing, I would want to have, like, my own little house and everything, and I cannot find anything that has a decent house on it. I mean, these houses are pretty sweet. I like uh, Elk Mountain Ranch's houses. Hmm. That's what it is. Oh, there you go. I saw one of the most disturbing things I think I've ever seen on TikTok today. A guy had a meatball sub from Subway and he just like drenched it in ranch. No. Yeah. There ain't yeah. no way. And like I mean, like say, I, would, I would still I would like I would eat that. I would. Ew. You would eat. Oh, that's right. You love ranch, don't you? Well, yeah. If you hate ranch, then if you add ranch to anything, you're automatically not gonna like it. No, I don't. I don't hate ranch. Saying, I'm like I know I've... what the taste of ranch is, and I know what the taste of a Subway meatball sub is. I'm saying the combined taste, like it wouldn't dissuade me. Like, would it wouldn't taste weird. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, but it wouldn't dissuade me. It wouldn't. I, it's like if people eat ranch on pizza. Like no, no, no that's two things that don't I'm, mix. Yeah, I'm not picky about food. I'm hooked right now on garlic aioli and. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, welcome to the club, man. Subway bottles there's now. You, you're so behind. Yeah, oh no, I've I I'm no I have Gailey in my fridge right now. I've been eating it like like when we get from Royal Farms. I've tried like the store 
like what we find in the store. Nothing tastes like what I got from Royal Farms or even Subway on the sub. Um, so Subway start bottling theirs now. I picked it up and was like, oh, yeah, that's it. Dip some chicken tendies in that. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what defines something as aioli versus like a standard condiment, but like aioli. I don't care what it is. If it says something aioli, I'm like, yep. Like a sriracha aioli or like a. Like, bring it on. A lot of the, uh, the fried chicken sandwiches that I get always have some kind of like sriracha aioli on it and I'm like yep what's a sriracha aioli? is it just like mayonnaise mixed with sriracha i don't even know what an aioli is to begin thought, with uh, well garlic aioli is garlic like mayonnaise pretty much i think yeah i thought you don't like mayo if you put garlic in it i'm fine with it oh you're one of them I don't like mayo. What's between aioli and put, mayonnaise? Although both aioli and mayo are creamy white, whatever made with egg, the two condiments have distinctly different flavors because aioli is made with olive oil while mayonnaise is made with a neutral oil. There you go. That's not a significant difference. Why don't you look up neutral oil? What is a neutral oil? Probably gonna be like avocado oil or like sunflower seed oil. Or like vegetable oil. Use a neutral refined oil for mayonnaise such as avocado oil, grapeseed oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, <laughs> sackcloth. <laughs> What the okay. hell safflower oil or oh, light flour, yeah. in quotations olive oil or blended oil. Alright, so that's yeah. Got it. It's the same thing. No, it's not. One's just using eggs. One's using... No, they both use eggs. Oil. One, the difference is aioli is made with olive oil while mayonnaise is made with a neutral oil. If there's not even that much olive oil in mayo. It's primarily, it's like egg yolks. Since 1990, it has become common in the United States to call all flavored mayonnaises aioli. Purists insist that flavored mayonnaise can contain garlic, but true aioli can contain garlic and no other seasoning except salt. I mean, yeah. That's kind of my point. Is like if you call something aioli, like essentially you know, just whatever. It, People are going to be like, oh, yeah, that's way better. So it's like mayo mixed with whatever. Essentially, yeah. And that's why I love mayo, because, like, mayo on its own is fine. Like, I actually prefer the avocado mayo over the traditional mayo. But, like, if you add something to it, like, as a condiment, I never have mayo alone. Oh, Sean, how you doing, man? Yeah, no, I... I, I, I myself I like throw some hot sauce stuff. into there. Apparently, you can throw some garlic and mayonnaise and I'll eat it, but... I've, I've eaten yeah, mayonnaise straight like up and I hate it. 
I absolutely hate it. But ga gar Gaelic, <laughs> Gaelic, <laughs> Gaelic powder. Yeah. Uh, garlic aioli. I'm all Real over that. Irish shit. powder there. Is it okay, Sean? Yeah. All you gotta do is mix some garlic powder in there. Yeah, I don't know if you have. Do you have Sir Kensington's down there? Uh, like the brand. Yes. I've seen those bottles in the store before. So they make the the aiolis. So I've got their garlic aioli. No. Oh. You mean their garlic everything sauce? No. They have a garlic aioli. Yeah, so like that's what I'm using as my dipping sauce for french fries. The only thing that comes up for me is Sir Kensington's everything sauce. I tried the Hellman's garlic aioli, that sucked. There was another one I tried that sucked. I think it was Kinder. Oh, apparently it's called... Yeah. Uh, it's called yeah, Sir Kensington Sir Kensington's garlic aioli. When I search it, the only thing comes up truffle, is... truffle garlic aioli. Yeah, see, when I search, I, I Google search Sir Kensington's everything or gar Sir Kensington's garlic aioli. The only thing that comes up for me is Sir Kensington's everything sauce garlic. Garlic everything sauce oh. savory garlic with hints of preserved lemon and warm spices. Yeah, I just sent you the link. That's what I get. Because also anything truffle, I'm like, yep, yep, count me in. If it's truffle, it's going to be good. Good in the air rescue, how are you, sir? I hate this guy, don't play. I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> hmm? I don't like mushrooms. Truffles are mushrooms. Are they? Yeah. Have you ever had truffle fries? Oh. Magical. You can't go with it now. I have it. Oh. Sean's talking to himself. You're missing out. It doesn't taste like mushrooms. Farming on my Xbox. This is excellent. We're farming the same map. Nice. I heard, like, I, I think I, they're in I, the I, fungi I watched... family. I don't think they're mushrooms, though. No, they're, they're mushrooms. Because, uh, that's what. I. We watched the pretty much every episode of that uh, guy's grocery game. Yeah, and same. The one guy, like the one guy, believed putting truffles on everything is, is better, and he, like they were allowed to bring their one own ingredient, and he brought like a super expensive, like a whole chunk of of, of the truffle, and dude, truffles expensive. Yeah, that's what they said. They were like, he was like, you, oh my god. He's like, you're ever good. It, oh, it was the pizza showdown one. The oh, put, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah where yeah, he brought that, that one. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. they're, they're like, you know how expensive this is? Yeah. Yeah, because it was like one giant truffle. And then they made and... him put ranch on this pizza or something like that. Yeah, but like street value on that, it's like almost 500 bucks. Yeah. It's insane. Crazy. 
Well, we know they have dogs that are specifically bred to, like, hunt truffles. Of course there is. Well, because they're rare. How, how have we not set up, like, farms for it yet? Think about it. I don't know. Maybe because people prefer the wild caught. <laughs> wild caught truffle. <laughs> Instead of the farm raised. Yeah. We only eat cage free truffles here. Yeah, I would only have a wild caught. I don't want farm raised truffles. Like it is with fish. Maybe that's why it's so good because we haven't found a way to farm it yet and degrade the taste. And... Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely farm raised now because think about all the stuff that has like truffles in it. It's truffle butter. <laughs> Okay, you're right. Uh, truffle is a strong smelling underground fungus that resembles an irregular rough skinned potato growing chiefly in broad leaved woodland on yes. cal calcar soils. It is considered a culinary delicacy and found especially in France with the aid of trained dogs or pigs. Yeah, I told you, yeah. <laughs> How do you train a pig to sniff out a fucking fungus? Pigs are actually pretty smart. You can train pigs. Are they? Yeah, you can house train a pig. Who would want to house train a fucking pig? Me. What? Like, I get I had a, one piglet. For a, while. a piglet. Piglets are adorable, but why would you want a full grown pig in your house? No, not like a full grown one. pig. If you get like a pygmy, or. Um, I had a, a miniature. Yeah, mini pig. pig. And it's only because literally my girlfriend wanted it, and she would not quit talking about it, so I just went ahead and caved and got it for her. Yeah. Because I know if I did They're actually would, really smart. Yeah, actually, yeah. One of them tried getting into the daggum, uh, literally the countertop. Try getting onto the countertop just to get into a cabinet. Why would you want to pop down yep. the, the only thing that's going for them is if you have hardwood floors, they've got no traction, so they can't do anything. Don't ever try picking one up out of nowhere. They will scream, oh, and I'm That's like my cat. Scared. That's my yeah. cat. <laughs> so I know that. Your cat Don't doesn't have up. to be picked up to be screaming. <laughs> yeah, well, you haven't heard me try to pick it up. <laughs> You just heard it in the background. One floor down. I can only imagine. Jesus. But yeah, they have uh, scent smelling pigs, scent smelling dogs. Pigs can be house trained. Yeah wild always wanted one of those mini pigs I let her have it for about three months and sold it yeah I, because like everything else associated with it is the worst that you can't like either train out of it or just deal with well no it's not even that every time I open the door to go out to the barn or something because I was getting ready to feed that thing would try running out every time because it's seen the other pig. I have a I have a bunch of hogs and stuff that I'm getting ready to take to the slaughterhouse, and they've seen it. I literally got rid of it like two days ago. I knew it was going to Well, that's like my cat, except it's um, it's. What do they call it? Separation anxiety. 
that's what it is so anytime I try to go out to the back porch to grill my cat sits at the sliding door but she's a flight risk How's she a f or how's it a flight risk? Huh? What do you mean by a flight risk? Uh, special needs. Oh, yeah. She's she's got a cerebellar hypoplasia. Oh, I, I just lost every bit. Yeah. But you just say it. Yep. So basically. Um, the back end of her brain didn't develop so she's got like balance issues uh, so she's like a wobbly cat so imagine if you're just like super hammered and you're just like trying to walk around but like stumbling all the time i tried walking upstairs hammered one time it wasn't fun right that's so that's like her all the time and is also just like non-aggressive so like she doesn't like bite or scratch or anything like that. She's just super friendly and wants to be around people all the time. And we'll just she'll greet you at the door like a dog when you come home. She'll like flop down for belly rubs. All that kind of stuff. So it's like having a dog. But it's also super needy. So And he's not a cat person. Yeah, I fuck. I hate cats. I hate cats so much. Boys, I just found the exact shed that I have at my farm. It's like a white and blue with no door. Well, if there's no door to a shed, that doesn't really make sense. Let me put it this way: it's like an open face thing. Ah. Brand shed. Yeah. I don't know if y'all allow sharing screens in here, but. I right, look, you can see it. Oh, I heard something. So I'm gonna check it out. Drink break. Yeah, I can change the color of the top, but this is exactly how ours looks. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Other than our roof and, like, these little outlines right here are all blue. Like, oh, cool. if you go and look at the actual picture right here, that's exactly what ours looks like. Yeah. And I think they actually yeah. have. Look at this cattle trailer they have on here. I'm pretty sure Phoenix has that. I want that Ford right there. You know, he might have that too. There's a prefer load and shoot, which I actually have a bunch of these in real life. That kind of just looks like the back end of a school bus. This is what, um, like, when you go to low cattle on a trailer like that, that's what they put them through. They put them all the way through up there. Gotcha. Like, these, this is the whole pack. So, like, say you were working with cattle or something. So, cattle work pack, yeah. You would have this, like, that would put their head right here. So, say you were trying to, you know, inseminate your herd or cleaning their hooves or something, this is what you would do. Yeah, yeah, so you lock their head in so they can't move it. And then it's just kind of got, like, a guard, which, I mean, I like that. I like how that's built. Yeah. And then what you're going to find is... Uh, what they design for that kind of stuff versus how they function in game is going to be different. So you're going to be, you're going to be pretty. I mean, bad. honestly, I would do it just for the decoration. Oh, all right. Well, then hell, I mean, if you like the way it looks, might as well go for it. Here's a 930 John Deere hitter.
Yeah, we're doing old. We're doing old school farm equipment right now. That's what that is. That was like mid early nineties. Oh, we're doing like sixties, seventies, eighties. So I have like my tractors are from like. My See, we have stuff. we have hoop barns on our farm in real life, like these, where we put yeah. silage and stuff like that. But you know we're actually smart and wrap our silage and not just let it stay loose. We had the I used to work for the Department of Public Works in my town, so we had those too for like salt and sand and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this would be cool, like an electrical fence placeable. Mm, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how those work. Like in game, you know? I know. A uh, nurse trailer. This is like, in theory, the good. I'm only being skeptical because I went through this whole thing with forestry where I just got like all these mods to do forestry and farm sim. And I was like, oh, the pictures look great. And then I. Here's a really cool view. thing. It's like cattle yeah. guards. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, okay, say you were doing, like, an open cow pasture or whatever. Yep. With, like, you know, just, like, small little rinky-dinky fucking fences. That's perfect. Like, yeah. even, like, all the barbed wire and stuff. Look how detailed the barbed wire is. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I even found, like, a feed thing to go in the back of your flatbed. I just gotta find it again. That would be good for a little cattle thing. Or cattle tractor, like feeding tractor, Agco LT85. I don't know if this would or not. I don't know if you can see it still or not, but I don't. I don't know if this would. Uh, I don't know about that. Personally, I would go with the Agco. Okay. It's dot a lot of people don't understand that a lot of these mods are free. You just have to click them and then no thanks send you straight to the downloads. Oh gotcha. I was like, alright, well this site's making it pay. It's like watch. Say um we actually have one of these in real life too, except they're all green. Say so you wanted... There's an old Dodge Semi right there. What if I wanted that Ford Grain truck right there, the C800? You click it. You see where it says no thanks, just take me? Okay. You just huh? hit down. Oh, all right. He's got a new idea manure spreader right there. Hmm. 1600 chisel plow. All I'm missing right now, I think, is a mixer wagon. Or, and a skid steer. I, I don't like the K skid steers though. I have this. This little service truck.
There's a pile of truck Add stops. Stuff? You don't want a truck stop to put in your spot. How are you, man? I have a bunch of Harleys in my game, so this would come in handy, but I don't see why I would ever use it, to be honest with you. This right here I'm going to download to see if I can use it as like a feed tractor. That's pretty neat. Y'all any y'all know any good like little semis to use like T eight hundred was? That's T eight hundred is, is AJ. You have all the different options for it. I'm excited to use this. We use that. Y'all use this, any? No. Pleasant View's got a lot of good stuff too, like gleaners. I personally like this right here. It's a steering heifer barn. And then this right here too, like a calf area. There's an auto zone placeable if y'all want in. A what? Auto zone. Hmm. And then uh, there's a bench, like a Chevy bench, so you want like decorative if you did like a homeowner's type thing. Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, BP. Dollar General, Circle K. Hmm. Football fields, baseball fields, skate park, soccer. I'm more focused on this guy right now, though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. Why can't I download the cover trailer? Damn it. Look at that, dude. He's got a cattle barn on Patreon. Patreon right now. Oh, I thought you were talking about the cattle bar. Hey, I'm almost done stripping this thing if you want to. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh. Try out the, uh, the fertilizer. Or get that set up. I don't know what the process is for that. What are y'all doing right now? Looks like it needs to be set up with water. Uh, I'm just stripping the uh, dead leaves off of uh, the grapevines. 
Dude, look at this Ford. That was pretty nice. I like the 4.6 ranch trailer. Oh, yeah. It's a horse trailer. I wonder if... I don't think he released that. If he did, it's on his Patreon. It ain't on here. I wouldn't actually care about his Patreon, to be honest with you. I want to know how people get shaders like this. Okay, I'm back.
I mean, this is working. Is it? Yeah. The only downfall is if you're not in the center, like if I'm going along the edge, you have to wait till it spins around. I've got most of my, uh, it's about half the field covered. It's like the third weekend in a row, no Brandon. Yeah, I know. He said something in the Discord the other day, and I was like, You're still alive. And he didn't say anything after that. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me last week to see if we were doing anything last Saturday. And I was like, Nah, sorry. heard from him since. On that topic, what do you want to do tomorrow? Okay. Hmm? I said, on that topic, then, what do you want to do tomorrow? You didn't say anything. <laughs> Into night moves, Bob Seeger. Yeah, oh, Bob Seeger is some of the best, dude. I am doing this. I am getting this just because I was in FFA. I'm gonna get these to put up on the. So you're form. just leaving this here, and like, what is it? Have you looked at what it's actually covering? Oh, I've just been driving along while this thing's spinning around. And yeah, it's covered it's cover about half the field. Maybe a little less than halfway across. Uh, how have you seen that? Uh, go into soil, con uh, go into your escape menu. Go to soil composition yeah. and turn off needs plowing. And you'll see the blue. All right, you guys know how like the hay in FS22 is like kind of a deeper, darker green. Wait, so it's taking the, it's taking care of all that stuff on the left hand side. Yeah, the where it's blue at. 
Yeah, so I've just been I've just been casually driving it down the side of this field, and that's how far it's been reaching out. Wow. Okay. So like you could probably go down the other side and get most of what's left, and then you might just right take, and just take the just little one past, down the center, pass down the middle. Oh, you could take that thing down the middle. Kind of a pain in the neck to get through between the rows. I'll tell you that. Oh, you can get down there. And for some reason, I can't get it to refill. No, I filled it from this before. There it is. I have to do it in the truck. No, but uh, have y'all noticed that? How the hay in FS22 is like a darker type green? I figured out a fix for it. So this is the only downfall, you have to wait for it to cycle around. Yeah, so I guess just do a tight lap around and see what happens. Oh, it reaches. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Y'all see Griffin, Indiana? Yeah. This one was one of my better ideas. Well, 
Well, no, the helicopter was your best idea. It didn't work, though. This is your first successful one. And to be fair, the helicopter did work in single player, so it's not my fault. Do y'all play on controller on here? Or keyboard and mouse mainly? Keyboard and mouse only. I'm a controller. Alright, question for you then. How do I fix, uh, like, my controller? My left stick sensitivity is, like, bad. How do I fix my left stick sensitivity? Hmm. You're gonna have to back out of your game and then go to the sensitivity in the settings. Did it do that for you too? Or yell at it and tell it to man up. Well now it's working, so I don't I don't know what the issue is. Or was. Got that Ford, by the way. I found it. Nice. It was just a uh, Ford that was already on like kind of a mod website itself. Uh, I gotta start overloading, so you can check that out.
Nope. What'd you do? The opposite of what we needed. <laughs> All right, you filled up. What are you doing? So you brought it over here. I thought I thought we needed to fill it up. Yeah, I filled it up. See, it's filling. Oh. This is why this thing's a pain to take in between the rows. I remember it's after 10. What? Oh, BJ's? Just gotta back it up. I can back it up.
fully up fertilized. And not too shabby. Hey, uh, could you possibly read off your controller settings to me? Because I'm this left stick's gonna piss me off. Yeah, I'd have to go back to the main menu for that. Sorry, at 11.50. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I could do that. Hang on. Uh, pop over to the, uh, general talk. Who, me? Yep. Yeah, yeah.
hide that way where PJs can't see it. He'll probably yell at me for it. Alright ladies and gents, that's going to do it for tonight's stream. If you guys did enjoy tonight's stream, do me a huge favor, leave a like down below. This does help me out so very much and I do appreciate it so very much. If you guys do want to see PJ streams, including tomorrow night's stream, whatever it ends up being, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys will be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always guys, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.